Oh. Yeah, this will work well if we have as many people as possible up here. If we could form a circle, form a circle all the way around me. Circle. All the way around, sorry, people in the audience, you're going to have people's backs too. Nobody else wants to come forward? Come on. Please. Oh, <laughs> come live in Whoville with us. The reason I'm calling this Whoville is because all of us are living in Whoville every day. We pass dozens of people on the street if we go outside our homes. And every one of those spaces that we, that we pass has a story. Uh, so we're going to get to know each other a little bit better through this. I'd like every second person, starting with Augie, step toward me. And then every second person, come in. Yes, second person inside. We're going to have an inside circle and an outside circle. And that's fine. That's good enough. Um, I'm going to come in here and we can go into here. So everybody in the in inside circle, turn around and face a person on the outside. Does everybody have somebody they're looking at? And when I ring this little bell, the people on the inside circle are going to step clockwise one time. You're going to step to your left one space. You're going to step to your right one space. <laughs> everybody on the outside circle is going to step to their right one space. Everybody's going to step to the right on the outside and on the inside. When I ring this, oh, little tingle bells. So this is some of, uh, this, these are some of the things that people shared. Some of you filled out a little form when you came in talking about your greatest joy, what brings you joy, what do you fear, what is your greatest grief. And if you could have one wish come true concerning someone in your family or a close friend, what would it be? So as you're looking into the eyes of the person opposite you, I'd like you to know that this could be that person, any one of these things. Not a single person said that making more money gave them joy. Making a positive difference in someone's life is what makes people happy. Watching squirrels play in a walnut tree. Making loved ones laugh and making life better for them. Sleeping in late, a good book, a good shot of whiskey. And as for fears, let's get in touch with the fears. Everybody move one to the right, look into the eyes of the person opposite you. <coughs> There's somebody in this room who fears being overcome by anxiety and regretting the things they did later as a result of that. There's a person here who fears for his youngest son's future. What do you want people to know about you that most people don't know? I need more help than I'm willing to admit to most people. I have mental illness. I'm just as scared as they are. I'm a lot like them, only different. I only have one kidney. What would you like people to know that they don't know? What's your greatest grief and why? The loss of my only child. The suicide of a favorite sister. Father dying on my birthday because he was the only person who really got me. My greatest grief is not treating others better when I have the option to do so. My greatest grief is letting fear make decisions for me. What I wish for the people I love is that they could see themselves as I see them, not as their parents see them. Not as the media sees them, not as society sees them, but as they truly are beautiful.
What I wish for the people I love is for all my friends and family, 